Hello guys! In this video I want to share our impressions of a new sleeping bed model from the already well-known brand Forklass MT900. This particular sleeping bed caught our interest because its price is higher than the Forklass MT500 sleeping bed and it's slightly heavier. We became curious about why this is the case and what makes the MT900 Air price higher. Therefore, in our review we will occasionally compare this sleeping pad with the MT500, which we reviewed earlier and it can be easily found on our channel. A little disclaimer about the brand Forklass. We are quite familiar with the brand and really like it. Some may think that we collaborate with this brand or with Decathlon Store, but that's not the case. We would be glad to collaborate with these brands and provide honest reviews of the products, of which there are many. As of now, everything we show you from these brands Forklass and Quechua is solely our initiative. So let's start with the packaging. The sleeping pad comes in its compact case like many others, however, there are noticeable differences in this pad's case. On both sides, we see that the pad is closed by rope. One might think that you can take the pad out of the case from both sides, but it's not true. In reality, one side of this case hides a compact but fairly substantial pump made of thin material. We have already had experience using such pump with the sleeping pad from the company Unigear, and we didn't quite like that this pump has a relatively small volume. Therefore, you'll have to spend a long time inflating the sleeping pad. The manufacturer recommends inflating the pad this way because blowing air directly into it with your mouth introduces a lot of moisture inside, which then eventually can turn into mold and the mold will start to fit on the protective material of the pad, eventually ruining it. It will be impossible to patch as there will be many micro holes. We won't stop mentioning this because we have already ruined two of our sleeping pads precisely because of the moisture getting inside. The pump for the sleeping pad is of a substantial size and there is a chance to inflate the pad quickly. But we have discovered a new way to inflate the sleeping pads and that's with a compact electric pump. We recommend everyone to purchase such a pump. With the pump you can easily and quickly inflate and deflate the pad, expelling all the air that gets in the way during packing. Additionally, a self-adhesive patch is included with the sleeping pad, which will help quickly solve any potential punctures. The sleeping pad itself is made of lightweight but durable material, weighing 580 grams. Its dimensions are 180 by 56 cm. This is 70 grams heavier than the MT500. The material of this sleeping pad resembles our pads from Nature Hike, but is slightly stronger. The MT500 sleeping pad, on the other hand, has a slightly rough material on the side that comes in contact with the sleeping pad, with some kind of slight coating. The MT900 sleeping pad is designed for summer hikes and doesn't provide strong insulation against cold. The size L of the sleeping pad is currently sold for around 80 pounds. There is only a dark blue white color version of it with the blue color intended to be facing the ground. In our opinion, white is not very practical for hikes, but the manufacturer claims that white doesn't require as much dye being used and contributes to the environment protection. Also, there are two sizes, L and XL. This MT900 sleeping pad has good silicone support, with rows of silicone patches on all parts of the pad. This will provide good resistance to slipping, especially on slopes. Additionally, the pad has silicone patches on the reverse side, which will help keep the pad in place. The MT500 in comparison has fewer patches and none on the reverse side. We are already familiar with the wall system it has from MT500 model. It is an excellent system with two walls, and this MT900 sleeping pad is equipped with similar walls. One wall is for inflating the pad, and the other serves for quick deflation. In case you need to control the optimal pressure for comfortable sleep, you can easily do this through the air inlet valve. The manufacturer has taken this into account and has additionally mentioned it in the instructions. To release the pressure, you simply need to lightly press the valve and the pressure will start to release. This is very convenient and practical. Moreover, we really like the placement of these valves. At the head, not at the feet. This is very convenient. This way you don't have to get up every time you need to adjust the optimal pressure for sleep. Also, the valve caps are marked with the letters IN and OUT, and the IN valve is made with a rounded letter. At night, this will be very easy to know which valve you need to open to slightly release the pressure. The MT500 has the same valve system, but these valves are curved outwards, whereas on the MT900 Air, 
the wolf caps are assessed inside, which is the right approach. Moving on to the main point, the shape of the sleeping bed. When we inflated this bed and laid on it, everything became clear instantly. This is the most comfortable sleeping bed we have ever tried and laid on. It's no wonder that manufacturers emphasize this. It's the most comfortable pad in the line. The structure of the pad resembles rectangles and its shape doesn't have large dips, providing incredible comfort. As for the MT500, not only does it have identical tubes along its length, but these tubes also have large dips or hollows. This, in our opinion, is the most uncomfortable design. As for the MT900 Air, it was a very good solution to create a combined structure leaving two tubular forms on the sides and not creating as many dips in the structure, which prevents the uncomfortable sleep. To deflate the bed, you only need to open one out valve and the bed instantly releases the air. Of course, you'll need to help expel the remaining air when folding the bed, but this is common to all sleeping beds. This problem can only be solved by an electric pump, which will suck out all the residual air for you allowing you to easily and compactly pack the pad. We are very pleased to test the sleeping pad, and now we understand why it's more expensive. Excellent material, a system with two walls, silicone patches on all sides of the pad, and of course its excellent comfortable shape on which you can rest well and wake up feeling refreshed in the morning. A good night's sleep during a long hike is the key to successfully make all the planned distance every day. And we are seriously considering switching our sleeping pad to this one now. Well, that's all from us for today. Share your thoughts with us on this type of sleeping pad. What, in your opinion, could make a sleeping pad even more comfortable, lightweight and relatively budget-friendly? We always enjoy reading your comments. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to always stay up to date with our new videos. Hope this video will help to make the best choices for you. And until next one, bye guys!